Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese semiconductor. The United States has repeatedly revised chip rules, and more and more chip suppliers have been involved in this vortex. If the United States participates in the competition in a legitimate way, no matter what the outcome is, no one will say anything. Moreover, healthy competition can also promote scientific and technological progress and bring better development to the technology industry. However, the behavior of the United States has deviated from the original intention of fair competition and made suppliers from various countries face complex variables. Just like ASML in the Netherlands, it was able to conduct global trade freely and provide semiconductor equipment to customers in any country. Under the constraints of the United States, ASML cannot freely ship EUV lithography machines to China. At present, TSMC and Samsung have achieved 3 nanometers chip manufacturing capabilities and are still working towards 2 nanometers chips. Mainland China has the most advanced technology and the largest chip manufacturer, SMIC, has mastered the mass production capacity of 14 nanometers chips. This is still the result of using the DUV lithography machine of ASML in the Netherlands, while the mass production process of China's self-developed lithography machine is 90 nanometers. If the supply is completely cut off, does it mean that China's chip capacity is only 90 nanometers? The birth process of a chip is very complicated, roughly divided into three links design, manufacturing, packaging and testing. Every link will use a lot of software and hardware technology. For example, design requires EDA industrial software, architecture technology and IP modules. In terms of manufacturing, photolithography machines, etching machines, ion implanters, thin film deposition, and other equipment will be used. As for the packaging and testing process, it requires a lot of material technology, and behind each material is a complete industrial chain. And there are at least tens of thousands of such industrial chain links all over the semiconductor industry. It is almost impossible for a country or region to fully master the ability to independently manufacture chips. At most, it can only master the corresponding semiconductor equipment technology and complete a series of manufacturing steps. Chips are a highly globalized industry and the crystallization of human wisdom. Every country and region plays an important role in the globalization of chips. However, some countries frequently interfere with the market order of the chip industry, bringing many variables to the globalization of chips. From EDA software to EUV lithography machines, to chip raw materials, there are almost all corresponding rules. This not only makes people curious, if there is a complete cutoff, does it mean that China's chip capacity is only 90 nanometers? if domestic manufacturers can mass-produce 90 nanometers process lithography machines. It can only be said that this statement is somewhat one-sided. First of all, it is necessary to distinguish between the concepts of purely domestic and domestic. The former means that almost any manufacturing link adopts self-developed technology. The latter refers to purchasing foreign semiconductor equipment based on the global industrial chain and then realizing product support under the processing and processing of domestic manufacturers' independent technologies. P. 
Pure domestic production can achieve 90 nanometers, but SMIC has been able to achieve mass production of 14 nanometers chips if it is domestic. Knowing this change, it is not difficult to answer hypothetical questions. That is, even if there is a complete cutoff of supply, China's chip capabilities are not limited to 90 nanometers, but can complete chip processing and manufacturing based on domestic technology and purchased equipment. In layman's terms, domestic manufacturers have purchased DUV lithography machines that can produce 14 nanometers chips from ASML, so they can continue to produce in the future. Regardless of the attitudes of other countries, it will not affect the continued use of purchased semiconductor equipment. In fact, if you think about it, you can understand, can the sold equipment still prevent customers from using it? This is like doing business. The merchant has sold the product, but one day he suddenly regrets and goes to the customer's home to tell him that he cannot use it. Or take back the customer's product, saying that the product is no longer sold. If it is this way of doing business, I am afraid that the reputation of the merchant will completely collapse. Therefore, there is no reason to hinder the use of the products sold, and they will not be taken back. At most, they provide after-sales service, repair and maintain the equipment, and so on. And observing the practice of the United States, all actions are taken against unsold equipment. The rules are laid down before suppliers transact with customers. This shows that the United States will not interfere with the operation of the sold equipment. Otherwise, the lithography machine is a globally networked device, and the United States can make ASML cut off the operation of the equipment with a single word. This is even simpler than the United States trying to win over Japan and the Netherlands, but the United States did not do this. Therefore, as long as domestic manufacturers purchase sufficient lithography machines, they can complete the manufacturing of chips for the corresponding process. SMIC and ASML have established a long-term procurement agreement, and the two parties have signed orders worth billions of dollars involving DUV lithography machines. According to ASML, the United States, Japan and the Netherlands have reached an agreement, but it will not affect the revenue in 2023. It can be seen that ASML still has time to continue to deliver equipment to ensure the content of cooperation with customers. ASML expects to increase sales by 25% this year, and sales in the Chinese market are expected to reach 2.2 billion euros. If this is the case, ASML will ship about 100 lithography machines to China this year which are basically enough for use in the future. Think carefully about why ASML informed the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands that they had reached an agreement. It is clear that customers should hurry up to place orders. If ASML can fully meet the needs of customers, it may not be a bad thing, at least it has the ability to adapt to the market flexibly. Of course, regardless of whether ASML can continue to supply, it is foreign technology in the final analysis. While maintaining cooperation, self-developed technologies must also keep up and increase independent research and development to create their own future. If you agree, please like it, welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.